This video is sponsored by Aura. More on them at the end of the video. All right, and that opens the front door. Okay. And so if you walk all the way to the back, back and to the right yeah. is the master bedroom, and you'll see it, there's an electrical panel, and you'll see it, it's labeled for the boat lift. So okay. You should be able to get to it that way, and I, I think you'll be all right, because I used it the other day, so there is power. Oh, we got the key, so we'll try that. If we have any issues, I'll give you a call back. All right, thank you. Yep, talk to you hey, later. Let me ask you. Yes, sir. How, how, are, you, how are you gonna do it? You're gonna, both gonna just try to shove it off or? No, we've got an electric winch, so we'll tie that to the bow to keep the thing from falling off, and then just slowly lower the uh, lift and let out on the winch at the same time. There you go. Yeah, because it was the pressure on the bow was really, yeah. I didn't like it. I just didn't like it, so I stopped. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck. Thanks. We'll give you a call back if anything goes wrong. Well, let me know if it goes right, too. Just okay. Call me. I'm sitting in traffic. Will do. Thank you. All right. Bye. Right. It's a little stuck. Hey, so he said back master room. Not this one. I would say that one. This is boat lift. Bathroom. Cool car. I'm gonna say it's the dock. Yeah, it says off, so flip it. <laughs> <laughs> screen unlocked? Could I just come back here? <laughs> Have power. Nice. Go. Let's do this. Okay, so we'll need the winch, strap, and a shackle. Oh. Well, the uh, that multi-point winch, or just the short one, or the strap or the short one? Uh, doesn't really matter. It's going to go off the piling. Actually, just go with the short one. Then we don't even need a shackle. Stay there. Jesus. Unfortunately, we can't reverse this side, so. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Slide right off. 
in theory. We'll see how that theory goes. Yeah. Hey, control. Uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, I'm tired because that's going to have to move. You guys recording here? Want to wear a mic? Sure. I'll just clip to the top of your shirt. I'll bring you a camera too. Stick this back where I had before. I wonder how much water we got underneath this slip. Yeah, I would guess somewhere around there. Just gotta pull in the winch tight and then we'll be all set. What was that? There you go. Tickle on your neck. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot easier than trying to do it with we'll come along. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No more than anything, just with these long pulls not having to uh, readjust the come along a bunch. That's why I bought it the first time. I did a job. We had a boat similar to the one we did, yeah. but it was sitting out kind of like the same distance, and we had to adjust the come along like four times just yeah. to get it to the dock, and then we have to still rotate and get the thing flipped. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Okay. Let your side down some more. Let the boat, let this, the port side down a little bit more. Let it roll a little bit. So we'll pinch on the pile too. Are we pinch there? Yeah. That's okay, that'll start sliding back. I just want to get off that chine on this side. Yeah, so let port side down. Let's see if that'll take some of the pressure off. Go down on both. I was hoping to sit a little bit more on this yeah. side of that. Caught up on the motor too. Yeah. Hold up. 
just the chain. Hey, we're good. Yep, keep coming down. Hey, hold up. Hey, come up. Can't tell if it's coming off the chain or not. Goat pump still works though. I'll let it drain for a little bit. Though it's still caught on the chain, it's not coming off. I want to make sure it doesn't punch through the hole. Really want the, oh, to roll a little bit. Yeah, we have something I can put a come along on this side. It's kind of pinched on here, isn't it? And it's either that or we try to pull it backwards a little bit. Try. See if it'll get any backwards movement. Get off that chine a little bit. I got enough. Let's put the big, big one on there. Up a little bit. There you go. Just pull that little hook back with you. Since we have power there, you think you might be able to uh, raise the engine? Get it. Nice. Might 
it will get this thing to come back into the middle of the lift. What was that? Yeah. up there. So we'll take a punch in. Mm, the hole's still good. Just that shine. See if we can crank it back some more before we lower it. Buff out. Or maybe we raise it a little bit more. Let me see what I can do. I'm gonna just go stay up front and keep an eye on that shine. So he's just resting on my chine. Yeah. I just don't want the front side of that piling in. Yeah, I'd say come up with the lift. Take some of that pressure off. Alright. Might need to put another come along on there too. Go to a different piling in the back. Here, let it down. Uh, there it come off. Let it come up real slow. to sit like right under that. down a little bit more. Keep going. There we go. All right, now you can come up.
There's, what was that? Yeah, it's caught on the dock. Oh, okay. You can bring it in to take the slack out. <laughs> So we're going to need to get another come along and go to the piling back there, get some more reach. I'll let you grab that, I'll keep cranking on this. the multi-loops on it. Right. Is that that chain? Is it coming back? Twenty footer. We'll just double that one up. What was that? As long as it sits close to there, we can do it. Yeah. Get another benefit of the winch. Try to double that one up too. 
Yeah, this one here. Yeah, so little end hook goes on here. Yep. Yeah. Right, you want to hold this end, don't climb out there. Okay, take this off for now. Pull that side over. Take a couple there. Is that? One, one or two? Yeah, one should probably be fine. Okay. That winch getting tight yet? Yeah. Wanna... Bit yep. Up a little bit more. on this. I don't know what, what's going to fail first. So I just keep this loose, like so it's not pulling, but keep some tension on it. All right. Because it's just going to want to hmm. dive down. Yeah. yeah I don't want to rip that bow eye out. I'm gonna try coming down on the lift a little bit. Okay. Let me know what that chine does. <laughs> How's that looking? 
Any change? Yeah, pretty As long as it doesn't start poking into the hull. Okay, let some out of the winch. Keep going. Alright, you got about uh, a little bit of a group. How's the bow looking? Spider crack a little bit. The chain? No, the hole. See the spider cracks? Right up here. Yeah. Hey, let's come out of the winch. Okay, that's almost ready to slide back. I'm going to let the lift down some more. Okay, t let it loose a little bit. Okay, ready to come back some more? Yeah. I'll come down some more first. to take this whole thing off. Change is wrapped around the cleat here. What was that? Change is wrapped around the cleat here. Yeah, but I want to take that whole thing off because that's going to come down towards the dock. So it's just one less thing to get caught on there. So you can grab that there. Ready? Yep. Oh. 
We'll see. We'll come down a little bit more. We're getting close to the water. piling on this side now. Centimeter by centimeter should be on. Looking. That's just sliding up the hole now? Yeah. Right. I think we were flattening out the side of the piling. What was that? The side of the piling. Yeah. Okay, coming down some more. <laughs> Try cranking this a little bit. Well, the engine's getting kind of close to the bunk on this side, so I want to pull it back a little bit more. Okay, just keep letting it out a little bit by little bit. Okay, keep it coming. What was that? So this outside shine is now catching the uh, pile. Let me see what we get. I don't think it's going to do any considerable damage, but just going to be cautious. And that, uh... Yeah, try letting it out a little bit more. Keep going. We're definitely gonna catch that though. Oh, yeah, that thing's gone. Uh, I think we got a screwdriver in the bucket. You wanna see if we can take it out? The fucking piling just has to be right in the way. Is that yeah. Four flatheads in there. <laughs> yeah, he might just bought a bunch of big flatheads to use his pry bars. make our job easier if it wasn't there so this boat would be sitting straight right now. Yeah. Lift down some more. Which I'll crank back a little bit first. No, I was just getting nervous. You were uh, firing on it. thing is not coming flying back at me. But I am sitting like a foot deep on the bunk now. <laughs> Now we look 
cooking. Good. That's all I've got here. You let it out more? Yeah, she's got a little bit of a bow in it. So, I'm gonna drop the lift some more. Yep. Let me get this come along out of here then. Come down. Are you sitting on that eye? Might be all the bells got. Might need to switch that to the stern. Might be able to push this bitch on. Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, that's a big one right there. Oh. Sick. Yeah, told to go do that stupid tow tomorrow. <laughs> Both of them, actually. Yeah, at least it ain't a 10 hour like Tom did. He wanted to, though. Oh, he loves that shit. But why? You can come do one of these and make more than he's gonna make on all that. Because you can sit there and enjoy himself. I get way too bored on those. I can see that. But Robin said he did that last night, you know, when he went out. It's something about leaving around midnight. Damn. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Tom is a uh, peculiar man. Yeah. Your mic died. Oh, it did? Yeah. Who knows how much of it we got. No blue lights. Guys, key. Yeah. I have to remember to cut that part out of the video. <laughs> okay. What was that? Leave it in. Leave what in? <laughs> Oh, back, back door still unlocked. Yeah. Before you lock it up, let me just call the guy and see if he wants the door locked. No, the uh, back door. Well, I don't know. That might be how he gets in. Captain Kim, what's about U.S.? So we got the boat off. It's sitting on the lift now. Uh, we're just cleaning up here. Uh, your back door was unlocked. Did you want that locked before we leave? Yeah. Okay. So we'll lock that up, lock the front door, and then uh, put the key back. Oh no, the jet skis came off no problem. We were able to just 
pushed the white one off by hand. The uh, red one took a little persuading with the tow boat, but nothing bad. And uh, your boat did have a little bit of damage on the chine where it was sitting on the piling. Yeah. So just wanna, we'll take a picture of it. It looks like it's just the chine. It doesn't look like it went into the hull. So I think it's all good. Yeah. Uh, but I'll send you a picture of that and the boat on the left. All right, so do you use some kind of report now? Uh, so we'll submit our side to uh, Geico for payment, and I don't think there's anything else they need from you. Okay. All right. Yeah, it looked like it did look like it was punctured, but uh, I didn't want to mess with it. Okay, yes. great. Well, uh, good job. Thank you. You're very welcome. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bedtime. <laughs> There's a little uh, piece here. Yeah, we'll just put it on his boat with the uh, rest of it. Get on there. Here, I'll grab it. Damn, that thing's hot. <laughs> Is that a heat tape on there? Uh, it's aluminum foil tape. I put it on there to uh, try to help reflect because it's just black. Yeah. So since it sits in the sun, I figured to put something shiny on there to help reflect at least some of the sun's Absolutely. UV and maybe it would help, but the thing still gets hot. Especially when there's no airflow. Sponsor time. Nowadays, it's pretty easy to do a quick Google search for a name and find out quite a lot of info about someone. It's scary how much of my personal information is accessible, especially since I would consider myself pretty limited in the personal data I put out there. However, data brokers collect and then sell your information to scammers, spammers, advertisers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, cell phone, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it's all out there and easy to find. That's why I've started using Aura the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, or other sensitive information. Aura does this all for me. And best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because the company couldn't keep my data secure. To help you secure your data, Aura is offering my viewers a 14-day free trial at my special link down in the description at aura.com slash fgcms. Now back to the video and what I do best. 